Good afternoon everyone, this is Manny. I wanted to make a quick video to let you guys know a little um, ev a little evolution in boxes that I have gone through. And I want to make sure that you guys are aware of uh, the things that are happening. As you can see, you guys have seen this before. This is my firebox. As you can see, it, this is a bee box. And uh, on it I have, as you can see, I just went ahead and stepped up and got myself one of these Meganus um, drippers. Um, as a matter of fact, it's been doing pretty damn good. Um, I enjoyed my sub tank mini for about six months and it's been doing good. I'm on the second glass tank, the other one broke already, it started cracking because of the juices. And um, But she, I'm still using the RDA, I don't use coils on it. So this was this was my first box. It's about a year, maybe three or four months old. As you can see, I built it as a fire box. That's what I call it, the fire box. It is in parallel, both positives running up, and all it has on it is a MOSFET to protect it. Other than that, I customized it a little bit, and it's shit doing pretty good. I'm running a 0.5 ohm coil in this Meganus, so um, as you can see she does pretty good. So I got this from my buddy Franklin Cromer, my first box, and then I was like, hey, I want to step up, I see a lot of boxes coming out, all these 100 watts, 100 wattages, so he told me, well, I'm going to build you something that's a little bit smaller. I want to step up, so as you can see, this is the, the Hammond B, and this is the Hammond G. So as you can see, it's a little bit smaller in size when you look at them. And as you can see, then the parallel I had no meter, no nothing. So on this one, he stepped up on the G box and put, covered it on the inside, as you can see, very clean. Put a little zombie meter on there. As you can see, the sub tank mini on the RDA, if you put like a half ohm or smaller built in there, like a 0.25 around there, it, it hits good, good. So I'm used to it already. Good clouds. So from the G box, I was like, God, I want to have something a little bit different. What do you have, man? I'm tired of that parallel. I want to try something different. So I stepped up and I got box number three. Um, this one here, I use pretty much for dripping because as you can see on the inside, this box was made for Manny D. Got myself a little girl. And as you can see in here, it's got the switch that you can actually run it in parallel or run it in series. So this is my baby here. I've had it everything from carbon fiber on the inside and outside um, to the meter and everything. So from, from my G, let me take the batteries out of this one. I'm going to slam these in my box. <clears throat> I like my this box because with the Maganus, the Maganus likes to run at 65, 70 watts up to about 100. But when I put my batteries in this and put it in series, this box is putting out 8.4 volts. I see, right now the batteries are a little bit dead, so it's running at 7.44 volts. So this ain't messing around. Do your math. This is a half ohm coil that I have in the in the Maganus at half ohm running at 7.42 volts or 45 7.45 so put it in your little ohms calculator 7.5 volts on a half an ohm put the Maganus on there as you can see it runs good man these boxes from this guy Franklin Cromer they rock
this this is the only box that I've had that can really handle this this Meganis. This thing is ugh, it's pumping right now probably around 140 watts, and this box at 7.242 volts, believe me, it's pumping 140. I feel no burning; it's running good. Yeah, I love this shit. It, I tried it with my sub. I put a, a, um, a smaller coil in here, like a point five or a point six, and it was a Clapton coil. It couldn't handle this box. This box was frying. I, it was like, like smoking wood. So pretty much, uh, these are my boxes from Franklin Cromer. I wanted to do an update on how they're doing with the Meganis. No dry hair, it's perfect. These are clouds. So leave me some comments, and if you have any questions, let me know. Take care.